We spent the last week readjusting to life on the road. But most importantly, we were adjusting to life in less than 100 square feet in our self-converted Sprinter van. We spent the week doing upgrades to our suspension, fixing some plumbing concerns, and finished the week around a fire pit on Washington Island. We might have visited Washington Island at the perfect time, on a whim. Fall colors were in full effect, and while it was cold, it wasn't quite unbearable. Good morning, friends. I slept amazing here in the campground. It didn't get cold at all, and we didn't turn on the heater at all either. But the exciting news about today is Chase is the one making breakfast for everybody. What are you going to be making? Well, I'm starting off with coffee so I can get that out of the way. Um, and then I guess we're doing uh, our version of eggs, bacon, hash browns. And then they've brought their sandwich thins for arepas. Mm -hmm. Washington Island is located off the tip of the peninsula, lovingly referred to in Wisconsin as the Thumb. It's an area unique to its own, while often being regarded as the Cape Cod of the Midwest. This first trip wasn't so much about adventure as it was about spending quality time with family. And we made sure to get that quality time in. We're about to have some breakfast outside with the meal that Chase cooked himself. I only help heating up things, so I hope it's good. Aprovecho, guys. Aprovecho. After breakfast, we have decided to come on a little walk on this place called Schoolhouse Beach Park. That's the name, right? Yes. It is so nice. It's kind of windy in here and there's quite a bit of people. So, Chase have come prepare <laughs> to be having fun socially distanced. I think so. Cool. Let's look around here. Schoolhouse Beach is named after a schoolhouse that used to sit at the shoreline. The beach is framed by limestone pebbles that were glacier polished over thousands of years. It's one of only five similar sandless beaches worldwide. And whatever you do, leave the rocks where they are. Removing them is prohibited and carries a fine of nearly $300. There are nearly 240 shipwrecks in the waters surrounding Door County, and the narrow strait between the peninsula and the island is named Door of Death, or Death's Door. We know the name sums up narrow passageways, unpredictable wind, water, and currents that have caused so many shipwrecks. But there are many legends surrounding the name. It's been said that the French would often give similar names to beautiful areas that they wanted to scare others away from. I suppose we'll never know the true origins. So besides natural beauty, uh, there are some buildings that have, have popped up that are super beautiful here in Washington Island. We are at Stavkirk Trinity. It looks really old in pictures. Let's see, it was built in the mid 90s, so come on. Our next stop was the Stavkirk Trinity Lutheran Church, which was completed in 1995 as a tribute to the island's Scandinavian roots and to the Borgen stave in Norway. From the Stavekirk, 
we took a short drive over the sand dunes park, which was a welcome break from the winds along the other shores around the island. And for us to be on an island in the Midwest on Lake Michigan, we couldn't help but get true island beach vibes. And we started finding ourselves enamored by lake life a little bit more than we probably expected. After going around in Washington Island, we came back to the campground and we're about to make some pizzas again because why not? It's cold out, it's easy. I love pizza. Do you love pizza? I love pizza. Mm -hmm. Friends, we decided we're going to be carving carving our own pumpkin faces because we're planning on doing the ghost challenge. We're just going to take some cool pictures with the pumpkins, I guess. So right? it's going to work out. Yeah. So Chase is going to do his own and I'm going to do my own. Let's see who does it better. All right. I feel like... Oh, that's good. Yeah? Good job. Elbows. Now, we have to decide the face. I personally think that I want to do something a little bit more traditional spooky season, like angry pumpkin head. Gotta see if it's gonna fit. <laughs> we just left the campground and we realized one thing that we forgot forgot to get completely before we even took off and that's a uh, water hose so we run out of water and we need to fill up and we realized we didn't have any uh, hose to fill up yeah. with then we look up on GPS and try to find where we can buy a water hose here here in Washington Island well let me tell you the dogs are going crazy sorry let me tell you there's only like one store and, and it's closed on Sunday. Closed, closed on, on Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> uh, so we decided to just roll with it and enjoy our time here. We will figure it out the water later. I yeah, don't know. We don't need it right now. So. so we drove all the way here to a little a place called... Little Lake. Which I don't know that it's a little lake. I have a feeling that it's the big lake. We'll find out. Come along with us and find out if it's a big lake or a little lake. Or no lake. Thank you. 
Little Lake is very much a little lake. And if you have the extra time to spend, it's truly worth a quick trip. It's a lake on an island on a lake. <laughs> this is Inception, guys. I like it though, it's windy. There are several historical bills that have been preserved and restored as well as leftover bits of a shipwreck that are pretty neat to see. So this was an old rock crusher. Don't ask me how it was used. Uh, but supposedly it was used to crush large rocks into small gravel. Look at this, it's a shipwreck. Oh really? Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, I wonder what part of it. Oh wow, look at the wood shoved between it. <laughs> the things that you get <laughs> surprised about. <laughs> oh, that's big. I know, compare with my hand. <laughs> We just left the ferry and we have stopped in Newport State Park. It's my first time. Chase has been here before and when he came, it was frozen. Everything was frozen. We have decided to stop here for a little bit. I'm gonna be making some quick lunch. Something I don't have to make the dishes dirty because as you know, we don't have water. He just took the dogs for a little walk. There's quite a bit of people here. After eating, I guess we're gonna be exploring the state park. I've been here before, but uh, there was about three and a half feet of snow or more uh, the last time I was here. So I'm excited to see it when it's mildly warm. Yeah, it's not that bad, it's just windy. So come on, we're just, Quick jaunt and back in the van because we gotta find a place to stay tonight. It's so cold. That was nice. The dogs are amped to see us. They're like, oh, where are we going next? We were gone for all of like three minutes. I know. Well, that was fun. Let's continue rolling. How can I help you? Hi, um, I'm calling because we're Harvest Host members and we were wondering if you guys have a, a, a spot available for today. Normally you have to have folks call a couple of days in advance, but I can give you um, the phone number of Tom. Uh, he is our kind of our coordinator, and he can tell you if uh, there's any if there's any space for tonight. Okay. Oh, uh, I think that's fine. It's okay though. Thank you. Okay. Um, Duke. Uh, we normally ask for about two days advance notice. Um, and that's just so that we can confirm your number and then just double check with Tom if, if we have any availability. Sounds good, thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Hand sanitizer. I already sanitized up. We've, we've realized that hopping over the dogs oh. has a little bit uh, struggle task. qualities. Well, I probably can get it from here. Jake likes to stay right in the middle or take the seat. He doesn't like to get up. And well, that leaves us in this weird in-between space where 
we have to stretch and reach <sighs> to find things in that. Oh, hey, look, it's those things. That's so nice. now we're off to Walmart. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Walmart has our uh, fresh water hose. We don't need much. Um, our and, fresh water hose. Oh, hose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they have the Camco filters because we want to filter the water before it comes into our tank as well. Um, so, yeah. Come Let's on. head to Walmart. After Walmart saving the day, we were going to stay here, but nobody else has parked overnight. I do not feel like getting knock on the door in the middle of the night to move. So, we used iOverlander, which we used to use with the bus all the time. It was great, but I think they did an update. And I can understand it. I don't know like it. I hope they change it back how it was. Um, but we found an iOverlander. This little spot where it's the only one with fresh water fill up close to us. It's around an hour from here. And it's a rest area. So it's perfect. I think we're just gonna drive over there tonight. We might be making it there around 7.30, which is not too bad. And filling up our water, eating, sleeping, and deciding where we're going next. So let's go to this random rest area in the middle of nowhere. Hi, good boys. Hi, boys. Hello, boy. I know. Come on, Chi Chi. Let's go. Up. Sure, I you need can do help. it. You can do it. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Come here, Jake. Come on, Jacob. I guess we'll just put this water here for right now. Yep. Are you ready to drive an hour? Yeah, let's do it. Did uh, you tell him that we're still figuring out planning all over again? Yeah. They teach our overlander. I told him it uh, sucks. Yeah. 8.32. I think we have been on the road since... Oops, sorry. I have hiccups. I think we have been on the road since one that we left the campground. We made it. <laughs> we made it to the rest area. Chase is walking dogs. I'm gonna be making some dinner. I'm tired. Let's get to cooking and eating and then going <laughs> and then going to bed. morning came too soon we are slow moving this morning we've got to fill up our water tank and then I think instead of rushing breakfast we should stop by Dunkin Donuts just outside of Green Bay if we're heading up to the Upper Peninsula but I guess we'll have to discuss that Rose does not want to wake up you don't look like you want to wake up. No, I'm tired. Mm. Jake obviously still has sleep in his eye. I guess we're heading further north, and we'll see you next week from the Upper Peninsula, Michigan.